Tony. The Palo Alto's goodbyes. Whoa. Whoa. I'll bring the correspondence. The base on the carta part of Morgan Reynolds. What does he want? A letter from Morgan Reynolds, if there is one. Here it is. I don't belong, Mandata. Mr. Morgan Reynolds, Sonora, California. I stole this in yours. Muchas gracias. Sigan, Sigan, Delante. Get up, Scotty. The darndest hold up I ever seen. He didn't take a thing. We're lucky. You know who that was? Carson City kid. He's tougher than old Sow's nose. What's he doing in this part of the country? Search me. We're taking too many chances. Stopping the stages from one end of the gold field to the other. Just to look through the mail. I found what I was looking for. Well, let's clear out of this country then. Not yet. We're going to Sonora. Well, he can't show up there. That's where that stage is heading. That's all right. We'll hide out in the hills for a day or so. Hold until you're old. You won't find a gem like my darling. You can take that gold a thousand. It still won't compare to my darling. He's got well, Jessup, looks like I gotta ask you for more salary for my little artist. Your little artist? Yeah, my little artist. I'm her manager, ain't it? You spend your time managing the drunks around here. I'll tend to Joby Madison. Didn't I discover her? Didn't I bring her in here and make you give her a job? Didn't I? Keep your nose out of this. I've got my own plans for her. Personal plans. My darling. The stage was held up. It was the Carson City Kid. What? The Carson City Kid. Tell the driver I want to see him. I didn't get a good look at him. He wore a mask and he spoke Spanish. That's about all I can tell you. And you say he didn't take anything? That's what surprised me. He was just looking for a letter. What kind of a letter? I got it here. It's addressed to Morgan Reynolds. I'll keep it for him. He's gonna stop by the bar for it. You ever run across this Carson City kid? Sure. Many a time. Why, he's about the quickest, surest gunman there ever was. Lightning fast, shoots with his left hand. He was using his right hand when I seen him. That's just one of his tricks. Gabby, you're getting a posse together. We'll stop him before he gets started. We'll split up here and keep going until we find him. I know the kid's habits better than any man in this country. The only way to catch him is to shoot first and shoot to kill. Ah, bacon and coffee. I'm going to eat if I have to kill somebody to get it. You're always talking about killing somebody to get something. What's the matter with you? Now, this country gives me the jumps. We don't belong here. Hello in there. Well, howdy, howdy. You're just in time for breakfast. Thanks. We thought we'd have to talk you out of it. No, no. Step down. Tie your horses up. Come on in, have something to eat. Now, sit down, sit down. We'll wait till you finish your breakfast. Oh, no, that's all right. I'll cook up some more right away. <laughs> kind of good having company. <laughs> I ain't seen a soul in over two weeks. 
Looks like you was getting ready to leave. Yeah, yeah, I just stopped in here overnight. I'm on my way home. Where do you call home? Arizona. Oh, it ain't much to look at the first time, but you sure get to liking it. If it's any of my business, how'd your... It's none of your business. No, no, go ahead, ask me. I'm just dying to talk to somebody. How'd your clean work out? Oh, <laughs> say, she's chock full of gold, boys. Ain't gonna have to kill a fatter calf for me when I come home. I'm dragging him home with me. Well, if it was that good, why are you leaving? Well, I sold my claim out, and the American River's getting kind of low. I can't wait for the rains. I'm gonna get some water, make up some more coffee. He's got a belt full of gold. You're just plain hog, Laramie. Leave this fellow alone. You've got enough money. There ain't enough money. I said leave him alone. Good looking horses you got out there. Hey, what do you know about Sonora? Not a thing. Well, when I get to town, I'm gonna buy the best horse and the best outfit I can find. When I ride in on my folks, I'm really gonna look like something. Sit down and eat. I'll fix the coffee. Hand over that money belt. Fight, Arizona. Only trouble with you is you talk too much. It's a long ways back to that ranch of yours in Arizona. If I was you, I'd take that belt off my waist and strap it around my mouth. I didn't know that partner of yours would try to stick me up. Thanks for the breakfast. the Carson City Kid. You'd have been better off if you'd stayed in Nevada. I ain't the Carson City Kid. What about it, Gabby? You ought to know. Yeah, that's Kid, all right. I'd recognize him anywhere. Ain't no mistaking that horse, neither. Yeah, he fits the description. There can't be two like that in the country. It's the Kid's horse. I ain't denying it. We was riding double, and I slugged him and tried to make a getaway. He's right. There were two of them when they went around that hill. Well, Whitaker? That's easy. I, 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 well, it was just my idea of outsmarting him. So we'd tell where the kid was. Two of you stay with this man. 
We'll search the back trail. No sign of him. Looks like he got away. We'll take that half-breed back into town. Yeah. I ain't giving up that easy. You fellas can go on. I'm going to stay here and mosey around a bit. Yeah, maybe he can find you. Carson City kid, wherever you are. You ain't fooling me, eh? What do you want? I'm afraid I'll have to trouble you for your horse, officer. Mine was stolen. Yeah, I suppose that gives you the right to steal mine. Oh, I wouldn't say that. All I want to do is borrow it. Drop your lines and get down. Might as well get rid of that gun while you're at it. Now you can take that rope off and start walking for town. Did you say walk to town? It's a nice morning for a stroll. Oh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Kidd. You can't do this to me. Doggone it, you ruin my reputation. I'll be the laughing stock of Sonori. I'm sorry, old timer, but I need a horse. Well, why don't you go ahead and shoot me and get it over with? Then they'll have to send a wagon out here to bring me in. Anything will be better than this. You've got a long way to go. You better start walking. Get a new poster out. Raise that reward to $10,000. All right. Are you the one, are you the one, one that I'm dreaming of? Are you the one, are you the one, one that I'd love to love? I'd like to take you in my arms and then day after day I'd like to do big things for you in my own little way Are you the one, are you the one, one who will steal my All right, boys, heart. there's something for you to shoot at. Easy money. I saw a big reward sign go up in Hangtown once. Shucks, they brought in 16 corpses the first week. There wasn't any of them that even looked like the fellow. Yeah, and they don't even know what this one looks like. How are they going to know him when they get him? They just brought in his partner. Got him down to jail. For me, are you the one, are you the one, one that I'm dreaming of? Are you the one, yes, are you the one, one that I love to love? I'd like to take you in my arms and then day after day. I'd like to do big things for you in my own little way. Are you the one, are you the one, one who will feel my heart? When will it be, oh, where will it be? How will our romance Maybe tonight is the night. So answer my plea, one little thing. Say you're the one for me. Come on, baby. Sit down and have a little drink. Not now, thank oh, you. Come on, give me a drink. Some other time, no, come on. No, no really. <laughs> Here, keep this for him. He's liable to hurt himself. You need to go into all that trouble. No trouble. Now, 
ask you to have a drink, but that's the same mistake the other fellow made. Oh, I quit drinking 30, 40 years ago. I guess I'm getting old. I don't even like my pipe anymore. I didn't know what else to say. Well, now that we've been introduced to know each other's bad habits, what brought you to town? I'm looking for a job. You don't need a guard, do you? No, but you will. Look who's coming. Look out! <laughs> Hey, that fella can shoot. I like the way you handle that gun. Are you working the gold fields? Not exactly. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I can use you. I've been thinking about hiring a guard. Somebody who knows how and when to shoot. Expecting trouble? There's always trouble in a place like this. A man who can shoot fast comes in handy. Supposing I shoot the wrong fella? If you make any mistakes, I can fix it. My instructions are to shoot first and talk about it later. You're hired. Get him a sawed-off shotgun. City kid. I got the drop on him. I just about snapped the cuffs on and rattlesnake shied my horse and throwed me. Wouldn't happen once in a thousand times. Sure too bad he got away. There's a big reward. Yeah, that's what I was thinking all the way back. Cheated out of that reward by a no good rattlesnake. I better get these cuffs off. <laughs> How'd you get here? Thanks for the ride, Pappy. Next time you go out in the country, you better take a C-H-A chaperone. The kid. Doggone no good horsey. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I guess I'll have to pay in gold, Dustin. That's all right with you. Sure, we can use it. <laughs> hey, you've been doing right well for yourself. Hey, there's, there's plenty more where that comes from, too. <laughs> so I started right. the gold field once, as far as I got. Good evening. Hi. I don't believe I've seen you in town before. No, I just got in. I see. My name's Jessup. This is my place. We always like to welcome visitors to Sonora. Hey, Pete? See if you can find a special bottle back there. Hey, that's mighty nice of you. Hello, mister. Evening, Miss Joby. Oh, I see you found a job. What is it? Riding shotgun on the stage? No, ma'am. On the gambling hall. We're both working for Lee Jessup. Oh, I see. I've been thinking about you all day. Made up your mind to marry me and live happily ever after, is that it? It's something like that. How did you know? Oh, they usually start out that way, but I never take them seriously. There's a friend of yours out here, Joby. He's from Arizona. I'm not from Arizona, and I don't know anyone down there. I told him you were. You'd better stick to my story.
After this, do your watching at the front door. Here's that surprise I was talking about, Yogi. An old friend of yours from Arizona. Our old friendship seems to have slipped my mind for the moment. Oh, well, now that's funny. Somehow I got the idea you two knew each other. Sit down, Joby. This is Scott Warren. He's made a lot of money in the gold field. Wants to get himself a fancy outfit, a couple of good horses, and ride home in style. The conquering hero returns to the girl back home, is that oh, it? Oh, no, no. There, there's no girl back home, just a little ranch and a few cows and a couple of old folks going to be awful glad to see me. I'll bet they will. I'll be back in a second. Just to start the new friendship right. Don't play cards with Jeff. Oh, why not? I, I'm awful lucky at cards. Not the way he plays. I'm afraid we'll have to excuse you now, Joby. We had a little poker game last night, and the boys want to get revenge. <laughs> you fellows are always trying to get my money. Do you know anything about poker over in Arizona? Oh, a little bit. How about joining in? All right. Now, howdy, young fella. Howdy. Had to shoot anybody yet? No, nope, seems pretty quiet so far. What do you know about this Carson City kid? I've heard a lot about him. Why? I almost nabbed him this morning, but he's a tough hombre. I'd like to get them two hands on him. Don't you worry, boy. He shows up here, I'll know him the minute lay my eyes on him. Is that so? Well, uh, I reckon I can rest easy, can I? They're tooting you, kid. I figure I'm getting that reward money myself. I call. There you are. Jack's on four. Ah, reinforcement. Just in time. Keep your shotgun handy. That boy looks mighty dangerous. Jessup might need your protection. It's none of my business if the kid wants to throw his money away. I can't help feeling sorry for him. He was so happy when he came in here. He was on the way home. I warned him not to play cards with Jessup. Then he's got it coming to him. Three bullets. I'll bet the rest of this. Too steep for me. What do you say, Warren? I, I got you beat, Jessup. Go ahead. All right, I, I'll call you. And I'll raise you, too. All I got here, I won't even bother to count it. Hey, what are you doing there? My credit's good. I'll call. All right. Just four little kings, boys. Sorry, Warren. This must be my lucky night. Hey, don't you try that on me, Jessup. There's another ace in the deck. Well, there was another ace. I saw it. You must be seeing things. <laughs> Get him. 
him out of here. I think he's had too much to drink. Poor kid. He was going home in style. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going, Arizona? Oh, just down the street, I guess. Thanks for letting me use your bed. I'm sorry you had to sleep on the floor. Well, that's all right. I always sleep on the floor. Your head's too big to go through that door anyway. You couldn't get it down the street without pushing the buildings to one side. Here, soak your head in this. It'll sort of knock off some of the corners. like you'll always go through life learning things the hard way. You talked too much last night. I told you about that before. You've been an awful good friend, but what are you wasting your time on me for? I had a young brother once, a good-hearted kid, sort of like you. He ended up lying across a gambling table with a bullet through him. He was a hothead, same as you are. He didn't like being cheated. The man that shot him ran the town, including the law. When he heard that I was looking for him, he sent a posse out in the hills to get me. And there was some shooting, and I guess the sheriff was hurt pretty bad. That didn't help you any. This gambler didn't know what I looked like. I guess it made him kind of jumpy every time he saw a stranger. So he sold out, changed his name, and drifted to California. And you followed him? I've been looking for him ever since. First, I was saving a bullet for him. But I've had a long time to think. I want to see him behind bars, squirming to keep his neck out of a noose. You know who he is? I've got a pretty good idea it was the same fellow that cleaned you last night. Lee just. But I'm waiting until I can prove. Come in. Howdy, fella. Howdy, Gabby. Hey, I bet your head feels bigger than an overgrown pumpkin. Oh, it does. Uh... Got just two for you. Engine remedy. Chief Sitting Bull himself gave me the receipt for learning how to follow our trail. Cures aches, pains, bunions, calluses, galloping, consumption, seven year age. Oh, no, no, thanks. I, I feel bad enough the way it is. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be getting along now. I left my things down at the livery barn. Leaving town? Yeah, might as well. I'm much obliged to you for everything. I, I don't know how to thank you. No need to. The bartender at the Yellowback has your pistol. I'll get it to you before you leave. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's on your mind, Gabby? Got something for you. Yes, sir. Now that you're packing that big gun down to Yellowback, I thought I'd better deputize you. Makes it legal if you kill anybody. Oh, thanks. Uh, now that you're my deputy, I want to warn you about that Carson City kid. I've got an idea he's hiding right here in town. He's grease lightning on the draw and meaner than a tree full of wildcats. Uh, you, you know him personally? Personally? No. Oh, personally! Yeah! Rode with him over in the valley before he turned out law. Learned him his whole bag of tricks. Well, you even showed him how to shoot. I'll keep an eye out for him. Yeah. You just string along with me and maybe we'll split up that reward money. Here you are now. Hey, that looks pretty dirty, don't it? I better clean it up for you. Hey, that stuff could be governor of this state if it only had a stovepipe hat. I guess I'd better be going. Listen, 
Yes, I think got too many friends, but you never can tell. If I were you, I'd be a little mite careful of my talk, especially with this door open. Hey, Rick. Got a special package here for Jessup. I hope I got the right one. Yeah, that's it, all right. You got any money? You know, stage coaches don't hold folks around here for nothing. Well, uh, I got enough. I sold a few things I don't need. Well, I better be getting back. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Yeah, I sure hope so. Here it is. What is it? I don't know. Something valuable. You better give it to Jessup yourself. Hey, young fella. You better get aboard if you're going. No, oh, no thanks. I changed my mind. Get up, Scotty. Smaller, you know, go. I'll take the next stage. You tell man goodbye. You stay here. Melica, very funny country. <laughs> this just came in on the stage. Tell Joby I want to see her a minute. Take a look at this. Ooh, very nice. It's the best they had in San Francisco. It's yours, Joby. The answer is no thanks. Now, wait a minute. You could do a lot worse. There isn't a girl in this place wouldn't jump at the chance you've got. Well, I'd give you a fistful of rings bigger than that. And more money than you knew what to do with. What more do you want? I'm afraid you wouldn't know. Don't try to get smart with me, Joby, or you're asking for trouble. I'll take that chance. Besides, I'm leaving here anyway. Oh, no, you're not. You're not walking out on me. You're going to stay right here just as long as I want you. Joby, if you're going to have supper with me, you better hurry and get ready. What do you mean walking in here like this? Get out. You started to draw, Jessup. Go ahead. Go ahead and draw. I'm waiting. You're fired. Get out of here and keep going. Both of you. I've been waiting for somebody to call his bluff for a long time. Much obliged, mister. I meant what I said about taking you to supper. I'll meet you at the Chinese. All right. It's a date. Good evening, Mrs. Doby. Very happy to see you. Hello, Wong. Can we sit here? Oh, no. Pick this table, please. Mr. Gabby say this one more better for two lovebirds. Gabby? Table set for two. I suppose Gabby even ordered for us. Oh, yes. Very fine supper. Lenny very soon, too. He hasn't forgotten a thing. Oh, yes, he has. My favorite tune. How do you know what it's going to play? It's been the same for the last two years, but I still like it. Oh, it's no use. Well, anyway, it went something like this. Sonora moon, please keep on shining. I know. And help me find someone to love. I fix it. I need your help from up above. 
bar Tell all your beams To keep on looking Until they see the one for me It's up to you to make my dreams come true Please do it soon, Sonora Moon. I meant what I told Jessup this morning. I'm leaving town as soon as I can get away. I am too, only I was hoping we'd be leaving together. Well, when do we start? I can't go yet. I've got a job I got to do first. Oh, I see. Those guns you carry are more important than anything else. I wouldn't put it that way. It's something I can't explain. If you'll only wait until... My mistake. I almost forgot myself. I should have known better. Must have been that song. Put it in the safe. I'll check it over when we close. Levante los manos. Se llama Le Mato. Adiós, amigo. City kid robbed the safe. Well, don't stand there. Go after him. Ten thousand dollars to the man who brings him in. Be responsible. Hey, come here, somebody. What happened? Ah, oh, that doggone Carson City kid. My gun jammed up on me. Well, I'll take your horse. Well, no, you don't. I'm still a marshal here. Get me out of this. Sorry, Gabby, but there isn't time. Hey, come back here. You can't do this to me.
seen anybody go by here? No. Who are you looking for? The Carson City Kid. If you want to saddle up, there's a $10,000 reward. Go ahead. We'll catch up with you. Been chasing her horses afoot. The kid tied a rope across the trail, and we blamed they broke her necks. He must be around here somewhere. Yeah. Who's in that camp with you? Nobody. Just the two of us. Well, there's somebody there now. We'll find out who it is. Cover that lower trail. Running from Warren? Well, I wasn't running from nothing. I was... How'd you happen to be around this camp? Oh, I, I thought I'd try the gold fields again. I stopped in here to borrow some grub. If there wasn't no one here. I... Oh, don't let him fool you. He's the Carson City kid. He's what? Sure he is. Didn't this fellow show up in town right after that stage was stopped? That's right. He did. Well, that don't prove nothing. No, it don't. But you had a lot of gold on you, and you lost it in that poker game. The next thing we know, the kid robs the safe. Well, he could have hidden the stuff. We better take him into town and let that half-breed Laramie have a look at him. Come on. Carson City kid. Yeah, I see it. You pack of bungling coyotes have upset my plans by dragging him in. Man's innocent till he's proved guilty, no matter what you're suspicion him of. I was just waiting for him to make one false move. Figuring on catching him myself in a fitting, legal manner. Well, I ain't the kid, I tell you. There you are. See that? He's denying it. I ought to lock the whole darn bunch of you up for taking the law in your own hands. It's about time somebody gave the law a hand. Yeah. Get Laramie in here. Wait a minute. That half-breed would identify anybody to save his own skin. I'll fix that. You men line up over there with him. What's going on? We think we've got the Carson City kid out here. You're going to identify him. Does that still stand if I tell you who he is, I go free? That's what I said. All right. 
Which one is the kid? That's him. Why, well, you lying? All right. I'm satisfied. Turn this man loose and get ready for a hang. Oh, no, you don't. You ain't going to hang nobody without a fair trial. Trial? What for? This place ain't going to get no hangtown reputation. Not as long as Gabby Whitaker's marshal. But you promised And me. you're going to be the main witness. All right, Whitaker. We'll have a trial if you insist. At the Yellowback. All right. Put him in the left cell block. I'll put Laramie back where he come from. You gotta try him first, and then hang him. <laughs> Seems to know you pretty well, doesn't he? He is kind of friendly. Where are you going in such a hurry? I hear they arrested Scott Warren. They think he's the Carson City kid. A man named Laramie identified. Warren isn't the kid, is he? Well, no, he isn't. That's the kid's horse, isn't it? That's right. Your horse. Right again. Well, you better get away from him before everybody in town knows it. Joby, does it make any difference now that you know who I am? But you're an outlaw. That means you're hunted. Every man in town ready to shoot you down. I don't even want to think about it. It isn't my fault. There's a reason. You've got to believe me. I suppose you'll try to help one. I won't know what's going to happen to you. I've got to do it. The only chance he has is for me to prove that he isn't the Carson City kid. But it's so dangerous. How can you possibly do it? I don't know. Order in this court! Order! 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 Order in the court! I suppose everyone knows why we're holding this trial. We aim to prove that Scott Warren is the notorious road agent known as the Carson City Kid and that he robbed the safe here at the Yellow Bank. Harmon, stand up. What makes you think the safe was robbed by the Carson City kid? Well, he was about the right size, and he spoke Spanish, but I could tell he was an American. Is that all? That's all the description there ever was of the kid. All right, tell us what happened. Well, I was in the office. You used to be the kid's partner, wasn't you? That's right. Is that him over there? Yeah, that's him. Are you sure? I guess I ought to know. I've been with him every day for the last two or three months. You always did have a bad memory, Laramie. The kid. The kid! Well, you know, Trokier, Pilar. If you're the Carson City kid, what are you doing here? Proving that you're trying to hang the wrong man. Is this the money belt that was stolen from Jessup's safe? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. And this must be yours, too. It's got some letters in it. Letters? Well, I don't know anything about any letters. I don't know what you're talking about. They're not mine. Looks like I made a mistake. Reynolds! Reynolds? What does he mean by Reynolds? Morgan Reynolds. The name he used over in Nevada when he shot my brother. I declare Scott Warren free of the charges against him. 
And if you've got any stomach for it, Harmon, get a posse and see if you can capture the Carson City kid. Uh, it ain't no use. I'm glad to see you free, son, before I go. Don't talk like that, Gabby. You'll be all right. Just like somebody hit me with a rock. My life blood's ebbing fast, Joby. It's his engine remedy. I'll sue somebody for this. All the same cost in city. Is it all right for a feller to kiss a bride? It's all right with me if it's all right with her. All aboard if you're going. <laughs> Bye. Well, so long, Gabby. Goodbye, boy. Bye, Warren. So long, kid. 